Hey, welcome back ladies and gents. Dapper Dad here with another quick tutorial, this time on the best way to get honey on Ark Ascended, the island. Uh, if you're like me, you're needing honey for sweet veggie cakes or maybe fishing bait even. And it's a little different than playing on ASE where you could just go to Crystal Isles, hit the bee cave up and come back with boatloads of honey, right? So as you see, I have beehives behind me here. I'm gonna be showing you today how to get these hives and how to maintain them. Real quick, ladies and gents, I want to say thank you guys so much for all the support in the last two or three days. I have tripled, almost quadrupled in subscribers, and I just, I'm blown away. I really do appreciate it. I'm on my way to 1,000K subs, so I'm gonna keep these videos coming. Without further ado, let's jump straight into this one. Thank you guys so much for the support. Okay, so what do we need to get this done? Well, I'm gonna stress that word need. Let's assume you're early game, you know, day three, four, something like that and you don't have a ton of resources. So even though you can use C4 and some exotic tames and different things, um, I'm gonna show you guys just about the easiest way you can get this done and you don't really need very much. So the first thing you're gonna wanna have is you're gonna have rare flowers. When you tame a queen bee, the passive tame on her is rare flowers. So put that in your last slot and have that ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and show you bug repellent. That will make this a little bit easier. However, I'm not gonna take it today. I'm gonna show you guys it can be done without and you really don't need anything amazing. Um, also, if you have a ghillie suit, throw that on. It can be prim, it doesn't have to be high end. Uh, you can even use flak. It's just, what a ghillie suit does is it helps keep the aggro off of you. And when you're in the redwoods or perhaps even the edge of the swamp, that's kind of a good thing. So if you got ghillie, throw that on and uh, you're good to go. Let's jump out there and, and I'll show you how to tame one of these queen bees. Okay, so the question is, where do you go? Well, as you can see on this map here, the highest concentration of beehives is going to be near the Redwood Forest. So you're going to want to head to the Redwoods. It's, I'm not saying you can't find them elsewhere. I found bees floating along on the beach in different places. It certainly can be found there. But the highest concentration, as you can see on this map, is going to be Redwood. So here we are in the Redwoods. And I do have to be careful, as you guys can see. I'm filming this on a PvP server. And of course, I find a hive right here by somebody's gate. And uh, I'm just hoping that when I destroy this hive that the uh, queen bee doesn't head towards their base. Otherwise, I'm probably gonna get lit up by turrets. But here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your PT and you're gonna locate a hive. Once you've located the hive, what you wanna do is you want to C-spin through the hive. And as you can see there, bees came out and they're gonna start chasing you. Just simply keep flying in circles. They're not fast or anything like that. And then every five seconds or so, just C-spin into the hive. Uh, the hives have about 5K health and it takes probably eight, nine, maybe 10 uh, C-spins through the hive to destroy it. But what this will do is this will cause the queen bee to come out. And when she's out, then she's fair game to be passively tamed. So I'm gonna speed this up and uh, check back with you as soon as we get to the point of taming the queen bee. Okay, there we go. We broke the hive. So the queen bee is going to be flying away. Let's see if we can locate her. Sometimes they're up high. There she is. She's in the air. All her worker bees are flying around her. So you just want to kind of hang back. And of course, she's flying towards that turret tower. That's not good. But let's see if she will humor me. There she was. Take care of that thing so it doesn't steal my rear flowers. All right, we just got to try to keep eyes on her. There she is right there in front of us. Now, here's the strategy. Uh, you want to just run up. You want to be in first person. Make sure your rare flowers are in your hot bar. I don't know how I lost mine. All right. And you want to just run up to her. Spam E as much as you can. Fast as you can. There you go. And she'll tame out. Um, now, again, sometimes that doesn't work. And you got to just kind of lose distance again and then run up to her all of a sudden, pressing E. Now, how do you get her in your inventory? You just walk up to her and you'll go to obtain beehive. And as you can see, now we have a beehive in our inventory. So take this back to your base and then I'm gonna show you the very next step of how to maintain these beehives going forward. Okay, so we made it back to base. Now all that's left to do is to set our hive. So go into your inventory, select the hive, and you can put it wherever you want. I'm gonna stick ours right here beside all the other hives we already have. 
If I look at its inventory, you'll notice there's nothing in here. And the best way to think of a beehive is like a generator. It requires a fuel source of some type. Well, in the case of beehives, it's going to require rare flowers. So what is the best way to get rare flowers? I'm going to dive into that with you right now. Okay, so staying in line with, you know, early day two or three, you don't have access to a lot of tames. Uh, we have a trike here. Can I get rare flowers with a trike? Well, the answer is yes, but it's just very inefficient. It doesn't take very long to fill up a trike. And if you'll notice, we've only got 39 rare flowers. So if you absolutely have to get some honey to make some veggie cakes or whatever, it can be done early game with a trike, but there's a much better method. Let's jump into that now. Okay, and the number one method is going to be none other than a Therizino. Uh These guys right here will gather the most rare flowers pound for pound of any tame on Ark. Now, you do want to come to the swamp area if you can, and you want to find these palmetto looking bushes, the ones that look like little palm frans. That's what we're going to need in order to find rare flowers. You don't want to use your main attack because it won't yield any results for you. Uh, what you're going to want to do instead is use your right click attack or on console. I'm not sure what that is, but it's whichever one looks like he is sifting through the bushes, not swiping at them. That's gonna get you the most rare flowers. All right, guys, we are getting loads and loads of these. You'll also gather quite a bit of uh, Plant Species X seeds, so that's a bonus. And I will say, taming a Therizino is pretty easy. They're down south, they have a very small aggro range, especially if you use a trap, you don't really have much to worry about there. But look at all these rare flowers. These are going to go fill up the beehives here shortly. So let's go ahead and head back and do that. I will show you how to fill up your and maintain your hives. And uh, we'll get you guys out of here. Okay, so we're back to our hives. And what we're going to want to do is grab our flowers off of the Thera's, you know. And then you just simply go up to the hive and dump in the rare flowers. Now what this will start to do is it'll start making honey over time. As you can see here in my other hives, these have been producing honey overnight and I've already got quite a bit of honey in each hive. So guys, this is the best way to get and maintain honey on Ark Ascended, the island. Uh, I've yet to find a better way. If you know of one, put it in the comments. But if this has helped you, again, I appreciate everybody's likes and subscribes. And until next time, ladies and gents, dapper dad out.